Oh, we're live? Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another live stream. I will be breaking this chest in this live stream. So let's get into it. Hmm? Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end for this stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. No. No, we're not we're not doing that. We're not that lazy. I'm not even gonna use a pog cat. I don't see how much damage it does with a pog cat. If it's like Fine. Just kidding. Do you really think we're that lazy? Okay. We are going to be breaking this chest. But you think you guys are probably thinking boring. Ugh. I had to watch this stream of you breaking this chest. Screw you guys. And <laughs> um No, we're not doing that. I'll do it. I'll I'll do it with a hellish and a podcast, okay? How about just a hellish? Just one hellish. My weakest hellish. If you guys have the weakest <coughs> hellish, just grand on this chest. You get 20. Point one billion. Well, look now. Now, how much will I do? Probably less. Oh, same thing. Okay, what about these chests? What is a chest set like? Is really good. Hmm. I'm gonna go look. That was pretty cool. But <clears throat> anyway. Okay, so we're gonna be thinking of. We'll do this. Okay, guys. <clears throat> yeah, I have a really squeaky chair, guys. Okay, so you want to turn, turn um, auto delete on everything. You can only do basic and rare, or you should only do basic and rare, but I don't care. You want to go to the cheapest egg in the game. <clears throat> and just keep this hatch on the whole time and you want to just keep doing that until you have your mastery filled completely yeah 50 we'll just Does it go? Uh oh. It barely even does anything! What is the most expensive egg? We'll, we'll do it at the tech, because tech is good. There should be a void egg. There should be a void egg, guys. Who feels the same? I kind of want to get this one. I want to get a mythical. 
I want to get the mythical. I just want to. Dang. <sighs> One time I made a legendary pet while fusing. <coughs> okay, mastery for eggs. <coughs> Chance to hatch golden pets. Okay, um... I'll withdraw you, you, and just withdraw. Okay. And we'll go to the strongest chest in this one. I just. Okay. Oh, how many of them I hatch one? I got a glitch dragon on my first try. That's epic. Anyway. Yeah, we want to keep some mythicals. And here we go. Uh, of course I get a hack so little. If anyone has a group and they are willing to donate Robux, please tell me. I need 800 because I really would love Triple Hatch. Because I have some coins to spend. No, you guys don't give crap about me. That's okay. <laughs> Your fault. Well done, just a tick. Um, crap! Stupid auto hatch. Okay, guys, we're gonna make it so you guys can see my second monitor. Okay. Um,. Okay. Crap, that's bad. That's bad. Can I make it so I can see the one? No. <laughs> Oh, that's sweet. 
So now I will have <clears throat> and I'll tell you guys if anything happens. Zero IQ moments. Uh I keep getting hacks a lot halts. We'll search vitamin delicious. Vitamin delicious. He's delicious. Only t oh. Yeah, he did that. That's cool. Mm. I want to make it. Okay. Okay, and then I want to fly. Oh boy, look at them. Time to have fun. 
done with these. Let's build a trap door. Oh no! Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. The guests kind of fall down the trap door or something. And then let's flatten them out. Let's get this free. God, this is so hard to place. So like this. And then, then line up like that. Oh! Why is this building system so trash? Anyway, bring this spring up. Hopefully this will be centered. Hopefully this will work. And really quick. Into the trap door. Head down the slide. And I miss everything. Oh! Ah, I get it. It's placement. <coughs> this game is true. Oh, I collided with spring. Oh. So let's open the park. And then let's open the slide. Now let's see what happens. Looks like Thomas will be our first victim. Thank you, Thomas, for sacrificing yourself. Enjoy the ride. Okay, let's just look from down here. There he goes. Oh, he didn't even make it to the spring. And, but he's still swimming dead. Let's watch from down here and see what happens. They're making their way to the top. She just dies in midair. That is really awkward, Carrie. Up next. And she's dead. Okay, so this is clearly not working. They just, they don't even make it to it. They just die. Oh, oh Dimitri. Maybe they're going too fast. I'm yeah. not sure. Just simply to test the spring. <laughs> Kill everyone. Let's test it out. Please don't die. Oh, I bounce. Oh, and now... Now I'm dead. And once again, up here, let's just do something like that. And now we bring that down. Give them a little bit of speed. Now I gotta get the spring up here again. Okay, why is this so difficult? Okay, let's try like like that. Now I just gotta run my pasty booty up to the top. Please don't die. Just bounce off nice. Good. And okay, this is progress. Let's head back up to the top. And let's put this next one. How about right here? Oh no, it's off to the side. Oh, I hate this building system. Yes, this looks good. All right, let's try it. Slide. Oh! Okay, I think it was actually too low. How about right there? Alright, don't die this time. Oh! Stupid spring. Bounce off the spring, and hopefully that's the correct height. Please stop dying. Boing. I miss! Let's try right there. This is gonna take a while. Stop dying, you sussy character. Oh! I could just build above it like that. Oh, I'm a genius. And now I just delete the one below it. Back up again. See how it goes. <gasps> what? It clearly needs to be under it. Running up this staircase is actual suffering. Please work this time, please. What? No. Oh, and the sun's blinding me. Let's try a different type of spring this time. Let's go with the flat one. Let's see what happens. Oh, um, okay, I'm dead. Please don't die this time. That was kind of cringe. Boing. What? Why do I keep dying? I have a backup plan. We'll just build another slide. And we can have this head down. Let's see if this one works. Heading down the slide. Off. <gasps> yes, we're still going. Wow. Oh, making progress. Let's head back up. All right off the first spring. I continue. Oh, I always die. Let's remove the spring. Let's do a really steep drop. And then let's slope up. Now a vertical looping to the left. Oh yes, that's perfect. Now let's flatten it out, and then we'll just bring them up really high like that. Alright, let's test it. Let's go to first person mode. Boing. Through the loop. Oh, barely makes it up, and... We're just coming down right here. Okay! Now we can build a pool here. Now we want guests to try it, so let's open the slide. Oh, Leontine's already had it up here. Enjoy the very safe water slide. Okay, she bounces off. Good. She's going down, hits the vertical loop. She goes up, oh, she's doing the floater. And into the pool. Wow, look at all that money she gave me. Awesome. I forgot to put a door here, quick. Okay, there we go. Now a path. Look at all the money. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna be rich. And then they come into the shower room. I turned my prison into a playground. So now that we know they land right in the center, let's make some edits here, just like that. You can see them landing in perfectly, giving me their money. Now I'm gonna build a little fan. Oh, there we go. Welcome, Gabriel. Oh, and Carrie. Welcome to Free Disease. Thank you for your money. I want to get everyone into the new disease pool. So I'm going to open up Solitary Confinement. Here they come. They're coming out. I'm also going to delete this ladder. They're going to be here forever. All of the guests are slowly making their way up and then landing in the new prison. Oh, well, 
thank you for your money. It's much appreciated. Oh, here comes Santos. Wow. I'll take your $35. Thank you. Oh, you can just see him jumping in. Oh, look at that money. Oh, there's so many diseases in here. Let's go get one. Oh, God, I can barely see. Is this what it feels like to have a disease? My skin is crawling. We still have more guests headed up. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, it's a child. Oh, he's not gonna give me any money. That's a sussy fan. Oh, there's some money. Oh, thank you. Oh, here comes some more. It's always such a lovely time at Free Disease. Welcome to Free Disease. Here Deli chocolate chips makes baking a bite better. Welcome back to Free Disease. I've been AFK money farming for about 12 hours. I've made half a million coins, but it's time to delete everything. Oh, I'm sorry, did you die? And you're stuck up there? You never know what's gonna happen at Free Disease. Look how much they're littering. I don't like it when my guests throw trash on the ground. I'm gonna close the park. I want all you losers out of here. And my puppy keeps whining. If my puppy keeps whining, I'm gonna put him on one of my cannons. I recently unlocked this inverting slide. I think that would be fun to play with today. So I'm gonna make some adjustments to the green slide. So instead of turning and launching the guests, I'm just gonna build the slide out this way. Hey, my puppy better shut up. Anyway, let's see how this loop works. Incline looping left. Oh wow, that's a big loop. It looks like it might send them straight into the ground here. I'm okay with that, but I want to actually go on it. It just uh, takes a while to get up here. All right, here I go. Down the big ramp to the super blasters. Oh, I seem to be having an issue. Looks like I'm going to have to remove the yellow slide. This sad uh, getting rid of another human cannon. Now I got to climb back up again. Okay, please work this time. Down the big ramp through the super blasters. Oh, 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 what, where did, oh. Out of the world I go. I gotta try that with guests, so let's open the park. And they're already making their way up. Are you excited, Lorene? I want to get in position down here. She'll be coming down any second. Here she comes. Let's just zoom out a bit. Through the loop, and she's gone forever. Oh no, someone else is coming. <gasps> oh, they're coming through at incredible speeds. Here comes another one. Through the loop, and into nothingness. Let's delete the loop. It's too low to the ground, so I need to make some adjustments here. I'm not trying to send guests to hell. Some of them probably deserve it, though. I think this is high enough. Let's add the super blasters. These help generate a ton of speed. Now let's turn. Now let's try the loop. Now the guests won't be sent to hell. How about I add some more super blasters? That sounds fun. There's another type of loop called the vertical looping. Wow, look how fun that looks. But there's 741 diamonds each. Am I gonna be broke again? I'm gonna delete the loop. I have another idea. Actually, I'm gonna delete the whole entire ride. Just gotta make my way up to heaven. Let's put the trapdoor here. Let's make it green again. Now I want to add the super blasters at this height. So I'm gonna do a bunch like this. Then I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna do more super blasters. Now I'll add in the loops. And I'm just gonna keep on adding loops. Aha, there we go. And now I'm ready to open it. Let me just go on it first. First person mode, okay. Wow, I can't wait for this. Oh yeah, this is so much fun. Any second now. Oh, wow. Look at my body. Look at all my guests headed to the ride. They're so excited. They'll be coming down any second now. I can hear one coming. Wow! You went pretty far over here. Oh, there goes another one. What are you doing? You look so silly. <laughs> here comes another one. See if he'll hit me in the face. Oh, wow, he went far. Your face is in the... Oh, hi. I can't really see your names, but it's okay. This seems to be where they're crashing a lot. What if I add, like, a rock right here? Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, I gotta move the rock over a little bit. Let's put it on top of this corpse. Sorry about your head. Here comes another one. Oh, wow, Addy, that was cool. can hear another one coming, and... Obviously, this is really destructive. It sure is fun, though. What if I build, like, a new slide right here? And then I just kind of take them up like this. Now I'm going to delete the rock. Will they actually land in the slide? <gasps> Daryl definitely did not land on the slide. And neither did Tara. Let's see. How can I do this? What if I add some terrain like that? Oh, she just... Okay, I'm sorry for all the dead bodies right now. Just kidding, I'm not. But let's put a... <coughs> no one likes you, Hulu. I think we should get a huge festive in three, two, one. Oh my! Under this train. Huge hacked cat. I can feel it. Sinks to the bottom. Oh man, how do I make them survive? At least the pool hides the evidence. All right, let's put the slide here. Mythical, mythical, mythical. For swimming. Oh look, I think 
my no face. shot, no. bruh. Maybe this is gonna work actually. So let's start the slide here. I'm gonna angle it up. Oh, that actually looks really painful. Oh, Alonzo just hit me in the face. Here it comes. Oh, sorry, Ashley. Oh, Don, why are you hitting me? I'm trying to show the people the sunrise. I'm committed to catching the guests. And the disease pool seems to be doing well. So I'm gonna make some edits to our death loops here. When they come to the end, I'm gonna have it angle up. I want to try to catch them, so I'm just gonna take this up really high. All right, let's see what happens. The guests are making their way to the top. People are enjoying the pool over here. Said he collided with the stairs. <gasps> Oh, poor Lakeisha. They're really just slamming their skulls into the wood. I definitely need to make some edits again. I don't even know how to say your name, and no one likes you. How about down here I turn them like this, and now I'm going to angle them up. They're obviously going to get launched really far. Wait, a bunch of people are dying over here. What's going on? Dusty? <gasps> oh! I go up, and then down, and I'm dead. Okay, let's close this. You poor souls. Such a far drop. All right, I hear someone coming down the slide. And he gets sent really far. I'm not trying to make a human cannon here. Oh, there there goes another one. I've got to find a way to catch my guests. So I'm going to build a really steep slide here. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, let's make it enclosed here. And then what we'll do is we'll start to flatten it out. At the top up here, let's do more inclined loops. Build this back down to the earth. I need 59,000 gold. Oh, no. But the guests are being launched into my new slide here. See, he goes up and then he's shot out. So far, this is good, though. I just happen to be broke. So I'm going to remove some of the slide pieces here because we don't need them. This seems to be enough to catch them. What I want to do at this point is bring them down to the earth. And now underneath the slide, I'm going to add the deepest pool. Will my guests actually survive? I'm a really nice person. Here he comes. And? Oh, no. Corinne still died. I guess they're going way too quick. Oh, even the deepest pool isn't safe. No matter what I do, my guests always die. Is there something wrong with me? I just want them to have fun here. At this point, I might as well try the vertical loop. It's only 741 diamonds. Okay. Wow, there we go. Here comes our first guest. Through the loop, and goodbye. At least you have fun before you die. Isn't that right, Teresa? I gotta find a way to make them live. So the guest will come this way. Yes, he died, but that's okay. Then I'll make something like this. It's gonna build this really high. They're still flying out of the park, so I think I need to make it enclosed. Bring them up really high, as high as I can go. Oh no, they're, they're still flying out. Oh man, they have too much speed. No. Goodbye, Antonina. The mission is to get them to slow down. I'm just gonna build a bunch of these turns like this. Is this high enough or are you still dying? Okay, they're, they're still flying out. I'm just gonna go all the way up to the height limit. Please stop, 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 stop. No, he still goes. Okay, what about a bull? Maybe this thing will slow them down? Oh, look at that. This might be the solution, folks. Now, under this gigantic bull, I'm just gonna build a nice giant pool. Seems like my pool's in the wrong spot. It costs money to delete the pool? Guess I gotta delete another human cannon. That makes me sad, but I need the money. So let's delete the pool over here. And now let's spend a fortune to delete this pool. Now let's build a pool like this. Here comes our guest. He's falling down and... <gasps> no, he still died! Oh, Carol, I'm sorry. Oh, Ethan, I can't do anything right. All right, one more idea here, folks. Let's build another slide. I'm gonna build this out. Let's do another bowl right here. Let's see if they land in the bowl. Here he comes. He's falling and... <gasps> oh, did he make it? Freddy survived. Freddy falls and... <gasps> He's alive! Freddy! Oh my gosh, he gave me 50 coins! Look how much they're giving me 50! This must be the most exciting ride of all time! Yes, Wade, you survived. Give me your money. <gasps> 50! I've made the best ride of all time. Look what I've created. It's so beautiful. It's always a great time at Free Disease. Welcome to Free Disease. A world of your wildest dreams. Welcome back to Free Disease. I've been AFK money farming for about 12 hours. 12 hours? But it's time to delete everything. Oh, I'm sorry, did you die? And you're stuck up there? You never know what's gonna happen at Free Disease. Look how much they're littering. I don't like it when my guests throw tr
station. Oh man, how'd I F this up? Okay, I, I think I got it. Look at that. Okay, connect please. Oh my gosh, it connected. <clears throat> Only 5,800 kilometers an hour? Do you have any idea what I've just built here? It makes my time machine look primitive. Oh, Malaboomer, you're still a silly boy. machine is pretty great, but I think it's time for an upgrade. Don't be sad, folks. Life is about evolving. Oh, there it goes. I'm still gonna use the same coaster. That's because it has pretty lights. We're first gonna start off with a really big booster. This is to help us get the speed going. At this point, we're gonna start to go up much earlier than before. The goal is to start off with a nice circle here. So here's where I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna start to curve it down. But I'm also going to bring it to the left just a tiny bit. There we go. That's it. It's very subtle, but it's a very important change, and you'll soon see why. And we're going to start going up again. Now you might begin to see where I'm going with this. I'm just going to keep doing this, letting the circle get smaller and smaller. The second loop is now complete. So now let's build the third one. And loop number three is complete, but we're far from finished. Loop number four looking pretty good. I honestly have no idea how this will turn out. You actually think I test things off camera? You really don't know me. That's really not how I roll. Build first, test later. Seems to be working pretty well for me so far. My bot army is really strong. There's over 30,000 of you now. People often ask me, where would you be without your bots? There's an easy answer for that question. With your mom, of course. Is this coaster starting to get sus? Is it looking sussy baka? Let me know in the comment section. Now remember folks, each loop needs to be smaller than the last. That's just how time travel works. These circles are getting tighter and tighter. Like your mom. Okay, but this loop is actually becoming increasingly 
increasingly difficult, being a bit sus if you ask me. And my puppy is being loud in the background. He better quiet down or I'll put him on the time machine. Well, 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 the puppy decided to lie down. That's an excellent decision he just made. We wouldn't want to send him back in the past. Put him right back in his mother's womb. We're getting tighter and tighter with our circles here. I just want to make a fun time machine. At this point, the track pieces are getting quite small. But even when I finish this, I'm still not done. There's some more special pieces I want to add. So what I'm going to do is build a long line straight down like this. My dog is being loud again. I want to get it connected to the station here. No, I'm barely missing it. And the game's bugging out. Finally, I got it. That took me so long. I want the train to be longer so we can actually see it. Now come the finishing touches. Just gonna start placing some fireworks here at the base. Oh boy, they're expensive. Just gonna keep doing one of each all the way down the track here. And you know what, let's put some on the other side here. Can never have enough fireworks. Alright, that's enough for now. And we're just gonna start adding some triggers here. Let's click on this guy right there. Wow. Let's add another one. Wow. Five seems to be the max. I think I'll just do three per piece. And now I'm just going to start doing this to every single piece. This might take a while. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm just going to add in some more speed down here. High speed is very important for a time machine. Alright, I think we're ready to test it. The only thing to do now is convince some guests to go on it. The exit is pointless, but the game forces me to place one. Guess what everyone? Time travel is free! Just gotta bring this cue line all the way down. You silly guest, throwing trash on the ground. This is why you die. Let's open the time machine. Who wants to try 2.0? I promise the future is bright and full of joy. Oh, look at that! Sarai wants to go into the future! Just follow me, Sarai. Welcome to the Time Machine 2.0. Step right up. All right, let's just get into position over here so we can watch. And off she goes. Wow, isn't it beautiful? Oh, look, someone else wants to ride. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait your turn. Only one customer goes through time at a time. Oh no, lots of people want to go through time. But we're sending Sarai first. She's really beginning to pick up speed. I can see the portal opening. The fabric of time is opening before us. Oh wow, she's really picking up speed. The dimension is opening. I, I, I can barely see her. Sarai, can you hear me? You're fading out. Have fun wherever you go. Enjoy your new life. I hope it's better than what you had here. There she goes, into the future. That was cool. Look at all these people that want to go into the future. Sorry folks, I have to close and reopen. I know, it's unfortunate. But now it's my turn to go into the future. Here I go. It's pretty smooth so far. <laughs> but he is fast.
genre, a celebration of 1930s animation, a complete rush to play, a complete spectacle to watch, or a hilarious bout that takes 30 years off most streamers' lives, it seems like there's something for everyone to sip in this melting cup of creativity. When I first played Cuphead, I had the gaming skills of a geriatric platypus. So many of the early game bosses just took me to town and hung me out to dry. Heck, I once did a four hour stream on Twitch where I started the game fighting Grim Matchstick and ended the game fighting Grim Matchstick. I wasted four hours and I still didn't beat him. But coming back to it recently, I must have really improved as a gamer since I managed to breeze through the rest of the bosses with ease. I snuffed out Matchstick, sent Briny Beard to the Briny Deep, taught Rumor Honeybottom how to behave, and even gave the devil a deal he couldn't refuse. What's the matter, little fella? Bad at video games? Ha ha ha! Not anymore, you Mickey Mouse mug! I smoked your rogues gallery! So go cry back home to your elder cat, and tell Bendy I said hi. <laughs> As a whole, our relationship started off rough, but I love Cuphead to freaking pieces. And when I heard that the franchise was getting its own Netflix series, I thought that was a genius idea. If the show utilized the same style and tone as the game, it could introduce modern day kids to a genre of timeless off-the-wall entertainment from an era long since past. Like the ultimate animation throwback game. Not to mention that they could really experiment with the fun, bizarro world that the game has crafted by coming up with unique stories and even answering some of the fandom's most burning questions. I still want to know what that stuff in Cuphead's cup actually is. Is it his soul? His brain? Is it supposed to be milk? Milk is good for your bones, so does that explain his boneheaded move to play a round of craps with the freaking devil? Game theory. Cuphead's an idiot. So yeah, an idea like this is absolutely bleeding with potential from all sides. But did the creators take advantage of it? Well, a title like that doesn't leave much to the imagination, but yeah, they did. They pretty much crafted the perfect cartoon. Not a perfect show or even a perfect animated series, but when it comes to capturing the pure essence of what a cartoon is, I think they absolutely nailed it. And I'm about to show you why. Keep in mind that these are just my personal thoughts, and if you have any thoughts, criticisms, favorite moments, or favorite episodes of the show yourself, you're free to leave them in the comments below. So hang on tight to your trousers, folks, because the review is surely broken. The first aspect we're going to look at is hands down the most important. If you're going to be a Cuphead show, you got to look the part. Walk the walk and talk the talk, if you know what I mean. And it turns out that the show was in great hands in that regard. Chad and Jared Goldenhauer, the bros behind the original game, are also executive producers for the show. And it was their goal, along with show developer Dave Lawson, to bring the magic and spirit of the rubber hose era to a new generation. When the bros were first developing the Cuphead game, they talked about the animation that they consumed in their youth. While other kids their age were indulged in the Thundercats and the He-Mans and the new style Ninja Tortoise, they were spending their time watching bargain bin VHS tapes of old Fletcher Studios. So yeah, okay, fine, I'll stop. Oh, Okay, I've been having this egg for a really long time. Let's not play this game. Okay. Um, there was a game that I had. And. Oh. I might leave a link to it. You probably won't like the game, but. I have an auto clicker, so I think the game's fun with an auto clicker. Played that game for 30 dang minutes straight, and I'm proud of it. How long have I been streaming? Oh, I've been streaming for an hour. <laughs> Okay, so you guys think I'm slow? Fuck this, freaking idiots! I have to go to this guy and press this. Yeah, yeah. And look, I'm level 19. How fast is that? Pretty fast. You breeze through the level in like good 30 seconds. So we've got the heebie jeebies. Okay. Literally, 
nothing is fun in this game. You just click and just kind of, you kind of just do, you kind of just go. Guys, guys, guys. Dang! Shoes! Shoes! Um. Yeah. Yeah, um... Wait, one sec. <sighs> hey guys! Yep. Um...
Um. <coughs> I'm so epic with Robux. And yeah, like, how much Robux do you have? Exactly, you have zero Robux. Hey guys, who are Stampy Long Nose? No one likes stuff anymore that, that Stampy made. Which is understandable. Okay, guys, we're watching a different YouTuber who should change their content back. I'm really mad about this. Question. Who remembers Can this idiot? No, not that. Who remembers this stupid girl? 
who no one likes. Hi, I'm Steve Anna, and no one loves me, and I don't know why. Bill Nye, my wife left me. Who remembers this guy? No, now no one likes him because his new content is garbage. Other than some things, the Minecraft videos, bruh. Okay. So this right here is my real life Lego house. Yep. We're gonna put it for rent on Airbnb and see if we can get a five star rating. So in order to get a five star rating, we're gonna need some crazy amenities like a water slide. Say we need more amenities. Yeah, and if you come over here, we got a whole living room set with TV. And then we got our very own kitchen, which we're going to bring in a private chef. We got a machine full of candy. And then coming up to the second story, this is going to be the bedroom. Check this out. We got a claw machine, bed. This is a great uh, minute, 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 We got this beautiful outdoor patio space. They're going to love it when they're up to this beautiful greenery. And then over here, we have a beautiful table where you can sit and enjoy a meal by our private chef with a view of the ocean. I think one of our best amenities is that we have a wildlife experience. <laughs> we got bookings! Push a day! An hour! We gotta clean the whole house! Oh no! Don't make the bed! Don't make the bed! I'm gonna turn on the TV! I'm gonna turn on the TV! Jump ahead! Baby. I got it. Five I, I, star, I got it. baby. 
dude, I'm so hungry. So fun.
for you guys uh, you know, yeah. have a nice uh, oh, uh, we also have a fabulous turn down service if you guys are okay with that. that sounds so nice awesome yeah so we'll get started on that and um right on line something about a Massage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the massage will be an extra $15, but um, we can make that happen. Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. We'll have it set up in five minutes. Okay. okay. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Good call. All right. I want you guys to get in a state of relaxation. Very zen. Your masseuses are coming up very soon. Just let your body relax. Just get ready to feel like paradise. Are you ready for a helping hand? Where do you feel tense? Mm -hmm. I'll go back. I'm going to start with my fingertips and slowly massage the pain away. Mm. Yeah, let's get that knot out. Hey guys, how's it going? So I don't want to interrupt or anything, but uh, um, this is a uh, five-star quality. It's a 10 out of 10. That's even better. That's great to hear. That's great. After this, we're going to have a wonderful dessert pair. With the turn down service, the best sleep of your entire life, and then the five star breakfast. Because here at the Airbnb, we're five stars. Here comes dessert for you people. This is the cookies and cream cake. It is best. Uh, best cake in the world, I promise you. Yeah. Normal piece. I don't want to interrupt uh, anything, but did you just say that was a five star cake? Yeah. 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 yeah five star like cake. It. Five is half of ten. It's time to turn it down. I want to help. What are you doing? Hey, hey. Oh, can I help the turn down? Yes, I need to walk the pillow like you've never walked the pillow. Like I've never fluffed it before? What does that mean? <laughs> Okay. 
There is no catch. Okay. 